What up everybody? It's Instructor Beats back again. This time with an introduction to exponents. We're not going to get really too deep into it. We're just going to kind of introduce what exponents are and what they mean. This is a really fun topic as you can tell by our Ode to Exponents song. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go back to basics. I right? want to go back to third grade where we learned about multiplication and what multiplication is. Multiplication is repeated addition. So I can write 3 times 4 as 3 groups of 4, which is 4 plus 4 plus 4, right? So repeated addition is multiplication. Well, exponents are just repeated multiplication. So if I take a look at uh, this exponent, this baby number we say, and we would, we're going to talk about this, but we would read this as 4 to the third power. Really what I'm saying is 4 times 4 times 4, right? Because I'm taking my number here and I'm multiplying it times itself this many times. So 1, 2, 3, 4 times 4 times 4. So multiplication is repeated addition. Exponents are repeated multiplication. So let's get to know our friend right here, okay? And we have this big number and then we see this tiny little number up in the sky, right? And so first of all, let's define what these are. This right here is called the base. And the base is the number that we are going to be multiplying. It's the number that you're going to see repeatedly multiplied. The top number up here is called the exponent. And sometimes people refer to it as the power, but really the power is all of this together. Okay, um, And so the base number tells us what number we're going to be multiplying, which is 5. And the exponent tells us how many times we're going to multiply that same number times itself. So in this case, my exponent is 3. So I'm going to do 5 times 5 times 5. Because this number is telling me to multiply the base times itself three times, if that makes sense. Some people get confused and think this is 5 times 3. That's not the case. It's not repeated addition. It's repeated multiplication. So the power tells us, or the exponent tells us, how many times we need to multiply the base number times itself. So if we were to say this, we would say, so if we were to say 5 and this little baby 3 up here, right, we would say 5 to the third power, or sometimes we say 5 to the power of 3. Let's take a look at some patterns and exponents. In, okay, So I have the first four exponents written down right here. Okay, And let's take a look at how this exponent changes the base number. Well, first of all, any number to the 0 power is going to equal 1. Okay, So any number, it could be a 1 million raised to the 0 power, that answer is 1. 5 to the first power means, well, I'm going to have 1, 5, and I'm not going to multiply by anything. It's going to be 1, 5. So 5 to the first power is 5. 5 to the second power would be 5 times 5, right? Because I'm multiplying it by itself twice, which obviously would equal 25. 5 to the third power, or 5 cubed, would tell me to do 5 times 5 times 5, because I'm doing it... Um, 3 times. So 5 times 5 would be 25, and then I multiply that by 5, and that would be 125. So 5 to the third power is kind of another way of saying 125. 5 to the fourth power, again, would be 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, because I'm doing it 4 times. And so 5 times 5 would be 25, times 5 would be 125, times 5 would be 600. 25. So 5 to the 4th power is another way of just saying 625. Now, maybe part of the reason someone came up to, with this a, bit, um, a long time ago was just to make writing numbers short. If you can imagine, 5 to the 10th power would be quite a large number. So instead of writing that whole number, they could just write down 5 to the 10th power. Just like instead of writing down 625, you could start saying 5 to the 4th power. So next time you go to the store and you see something for $625, instead of saying, hey, mom, dad, that's $625, you could really impress them by saying, hey, that's 5 to the 4th power. Maybe you'd impress them so much that they buy you whatever it is. So these are some patterns and exponents, okay, as you can kind of see. And so let's go ahead and try an example problem. I want to know how to write it in multiplication. 
and I want to know what the answer is. So go ahead and pause the video and try to write out the problem. So hopefully you just um, paused it. And the easy part, right, I think is to write as multiplication. So my base number is 4. That's the number I'm going to be multiplying. And my exponent is actually 4, which is telling me I'm going to do 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, right? I've raised it to the fourth power, which means I'm going to be multiplying it times itself four times. And so I kind of solve this one step at a time if I'm doing it. And so I know 4 times 4 would be 16. And then 4 times 4 would be 16. 16 times 16 is 256, okay? You could have also done 16 times 4, which would have been 64, and then multiplied 64 times 4, which again would get you 256. So another way to t say 256 is just saying 4 to the fourth power. So hopefully this has helped you kind of understand exponents and the base number, what the exponent means, and just a little introduction to some patterns um, of exponents and how you can solve some of uh, um, simple problems like this. As always, please check us out at Instructabeats um, Official. Sorry, it's our new URL. Instructabeats Official is our new YouTube channel. And then check us out at Instagram at, at Instructabeats. Check out our song, our Ode to Exponents, which is kind of a love song to exponents and how much we love them and how much they lift us up. Instructor Beats, out!